morning to you. Um, welcome to my channel, RGS Cooking with Kesh. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple recipe of mutton curry. So uh, first you will need a kilo of um, lamb, some potatoes uh, diced, one whole onion uh, sliced, I've got two tomatoes here sliced, and my spices. I'm using um, Kashmiri masala, medium, my turmeric powder and dhania jeera powder. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use olive oil today to braise the curry. So I'm just gonna put in a, about two tablespoons of uh, olive oil. Okay, just let that heat a bit. And then I'm gonna drop in my onion. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. Just gonna add in one or two bay leaves and one cinnamon stick. Okay, my onion is getting brown. So now I'm gonna drop in some ginger garlic. Two teaspoons of ginger garlic, and I'm just gonna give that a quick stir. Start adding my masala. One, two, three, four teaspoons of masala, one spoon of rania jeera mix, and my turmeric. Okay, as soon as I add that in, I'm just going to give it a quick stir. I'm going to drop in my tomatoes. I'm going to leave my tomatoes to cook until it forms a chutney. As soon as the chutney is done, and then I will drop my add in the meat. So I'm just going to close the pot now and let the tomatoes cook. That should cook for about five minutes. Okay, now I'm going to open up the pot. Five minutes has passed. Okay, the tomatoes are they getting nice and soft. Okay, and it's ready for me to drop in my meat. Okay, so let me just drop in the meat. I'm just going to stir it all up and now you can just judge and see if the color is right. If you feel the masala is a bit short, you can add a little bit more and if you feel it's right, it's fine. You can just um, let it cook in the tomato. I'm going to now add in the salt and just give it a quick stir. So it's one level spoon of salt to taste. And I'm just gonna let it fry in this tomato for about 10 minutes. Let it just cook in this tomato. Okay, I'm gonna just close the pot now and let it cook for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes has passed. I just want to check how the curry is doing. Okay, this is how it looks now. The tomato has cooked nicely. And um, by adding the salt, some water has come out of the meat. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some hot water that I boiled in the kettle. Okay, I'm just gonna add some hot water to this. About a cup. Okay, I'm gonna stir it up. And I'm gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes. I'll, I'll let it cook for 10, 20 minutes and then I'll just keep stirring in between. Okay, you can actually smell all the flavors now. I'm just gonna close the pot and let it cook for 20 minutes. Okay, to go with my uh, lamb curry, I'm making some samples. So I've got two round uh, tomatoes here, which I've washed. I am now gonna slice it and put it into this bowl. Okay, samples actually goes very nice with the, with the biryani or with the curry. I'm just going to chop it up quickly. So you just slice up your tomatoes nicely, nice and fine. And you uh, slice one onion and I'm putting two green chilies. And to garnish I've got fresh coriander. I'm now going to do the same with the onion. Okay, whilst I'm waiting for my curry to get done, I uh, made some samples. There's onion, tomato, green chili, and um, I've garnished with some fresh coriander. Okay, I'll uh, mix the salt just before we before serving. But I'm gonna stir the curry now. 20 minutes has passed. Okay, I've been stirring it uh, a few times. Okay, this is what it looks like now. It's actually getting done properly. I'm gonna leave it for another 15 more minutes and then I will drop in my potatoes. But the curry is looking nice. See, the curry color is good. It's smelling very, very uh, delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna close it now and just leave it for another 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna check my curry now. 15 minutes has passed by. I just wanna check how it's doing. Okay, it's looking very, very nice. Okay, I'm actually gonna add in the potatoes now. Just gonna drop in the potatoes and give it a good stir. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook now for another 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna check my curry now, it should be done. Okay, just gonna check the potato. Okay, the potato is done. Okay, the curry is now done. This is what it looks like. The curry is also nice and thick. The gravy is nice and thick. The potatoes are nice and soft. Okay. It's done. I'm going to switch the stove off now. Just garnish it with a little bit of um, fresh coriander. Okay, now it's done. Food's done. Okay, this is the end product. Here's my curry in the bowl. We're serving it with samples and we're going to have some roti. If you like this video, please 
like, share and comment and please subscribe to my channel. I thank you guys for watching and have a super day.